Hey guys, Kara Civi here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Tenso Gatai Deluxe Gosei Great from Tenso Sentai Gosager. This is the main mecha for the uh, Gosagers, which consists of five Gosei machines, each with their own Gosei header. So, uh, one thing to note is that this is technically the imported version that was marketed as the uh, Gosei Great Megazord Nippon Edition. So, it does not include the Gosei card that was put in with the original Gosei Great. With that out of the way, let's get started. First up is Gosei Red's Gosei Dragon, which is created when the Dragon Hitter combines with a passenger airplane. So, as you can see, the Gosei Dragon is the biggest of the five Gosei machines. It's, com it's primarily red, gold, and black. This has got a lot of nice little details on the sides, several header ports on the back and on the wings, some spines along the neck and tail, as well as feet which are actually made up of two groups of three little bombs or missiles. Regulation wise, you can open and close the mouth on the dragon header, move the horn forward and backwards, rotate the wings, as well as fold them up and down. Of course, the dragon header is also detachable. And using this port in the back, you can attach it to the Gose Blaster, where it'll make the Sky Tribe sound. Next up is Gosei Pink's Gosei Phoenix, which is created when the Phoenix header combines with a fighter jet. So as is typical of Pink Ranger mechs, instead of being mostly pink, it's instead mostly white with a little bit of pink. See, it's got some nice details as well. Little wings here. A uh, header port up here on the top. As well as some landing gear. That can be folded up and back down. Articulation wise, you can open and close the beak and adjust the wings a little bit. Though uh, the unfolding is mostly for the sake of transformation. Again, you can detach the uh, Gosei header and, like with the Dragon header, attaching this to the Gosei blaster will make the Sky Tribe sound. Next is Gosei Black's Gosei Snake, which is created when the snake hair combines with a bullet train. So obviously being based on both a snake and a train, this is the longest of the Gosei machines. You can see it's got a lot of nice details, primarily black and silver. You can see the green windows all along the side, as well as a lot of wheels. Being the way it is, you can uh, hinge a little bit, as well as fold using some hinges, so you can curve it a little bit like so. You have the snake here up here, of course you can open and close the mouth, like so. This one is also detachable, and it'll make the uh, landic tribe sound in the Gosei uh, blaster. And there's another hair part up here. Next is Gosei Yellow's Gosei Tiger, which is created when the tiger hair combines with the bulldozer. So, this one is mostly yellow and silver. You can see on the sides, it's got some caterpillar treads with tiger claws attached to them. Another Hair port up here. You got the head. You can open and close the mouth in a similar fashion to the snake header. And this one will also make the Landic Tribe sound in the Gose Blaster. And finally, we have Gose Blue's Gose Shark, which is created when the Shark header combines with the submarine. So, 
It is it's mainly blue and silver. You can see some nice details like the molded in teeth, as well as the gills. It doesn't really have any articulation except for opening and closing the mouth. It's just done like so. And has a hair port on the top. This one, of course, the hair is detachable. And this one will make the Sikh tribe sound in the Gose Blaster. It also has Land of Year like with Gose Phoenix. That can also be folded up. So, next we'll combine them. First up, take Gose Snake, compress it in like so, and fold it until it's secure in place like this and take go say tiger and play it into this socket then raise it up like so to create the legs next take go say dragon using this port here slide it into place like so and if you want to detach it, you can use this lever here, where you'll just pull it down and slide it off. Then, detach the tail and neck from the body, and take off the dragon header and put it where the neck used to be. Next, take Gose Shark, fold in the landing gear and split open the tail to fold it onto the sides, like so. Then put it in here to make the uh, right arm. Then take Gose Phoenix, fold in the wings, and fold in the landing gear. Put it on the other side to make the left arm. Then you're going to take the two pieces of... the uh, two pieces left over from Gose Dragon, Combine them here like so, which will make the Great Dragon Sword. And play it onto the back like that. And finally, move up the uh, horn, flip around the head, fold this back down and lift up the two wings. And there you have Gose Great. And here we have a full view of Gose Great. As you can see, it's got some nice colors and nice details. It's also well proportioned. You now see the new head, or the proper head for this robo, which has some angel wings on the side, as well as the Gose Mount Go see Mark on his forehead. Articulation wise, you can still uh, close the mouths on the headers and rotate the arms around. Of course, you can still manipulate the wings on the same joints that you could for Go see Dragon. To equip it with the Dragon Sword, just take it and take this handle and place it into this socket here in the mouth of Gose Shark. So I have it like that. Alternatively, you'd also uh, attach it to uh, Gose Phoenix. Whichever one you prefer. You can also do things like mix and match the positions of the headers. For example, if you want to, you could take the other headers place them onto the ports on the wings. Although you'd probably need to have a couple of replacement headers, as like this it's gonna fall over. But, part of the system is being able to just kind of make your own combinations and using different headers to make different formations. And there we go. 
Overall, Gosei Great is a simple but fun robo, which has some nice details, some decent articulation, and uh, nice transformation as well. He also, of course, mix and match the headers, and this does have other combinations you can use with other headers that are sold separately. Now, obviously, this is going to be a little bit pricey, so if you're on a budget, then you might want to go for the Ghost of Great Megazord, which, while smaller and cheaper, does have a fairly similar uh, design and transformation, and still does have the different ports for different headers. So, uh, with whichever one you get, kind of depends on mainly your budget and how much you really want to spend to get this mech design. And I'll admit I've had this for a little while and just didn't really get around to reviewing it, but I thought I might as well get around to it since I uh, did recently get something that will allow me to make the full combination with Gosei Ground, which I reviewed years back. But, with that said, next time I'll be reviewing the Yokai Watch Mall Zero. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.